<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Three Mississippi. Sid, Mike, and we are getting ready for yet another big round of storms and tornado watches and warnings. They are already hammering some other states, which begs the question: Did we make a mistake moving to Mississippi? So that's the question people have been asking us, folks. Do we feel like we made a mistake, you know, leaving a place where the weather is just almost pristine all the time to move to Mississippi where it's the new tornado alley, right? <laughs> did we make a mistake? A lot of people think we did. A lot of people are trying to tell us, hey, you know, what are you thinking? What are you thinking, Sid? Well, I mean, right now, every 10 years or so, uh, Ramona gets flooded and that's happening right now. Southern California has had more rain in the last couple months than they've had in the last several years combined, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's just how these storm cycles go. Down here, they're saying that the tornadoes, it's about every 10 years that they have this really bad cycle of them. We just happen to move here at the beginning of that cycle. <laughs> and folks that live right here near us, you know, they haven't, they haven't seen tornadoes this bad, yeah, in like 12, 15 years. The reality is we had a couple of nasty ones come through. Uh, one of them got real close to us. That's what we're doing to, uh, today is getting the, the tractor ready, putting the grapple on it, getting the Polaris ready with chainsaws. And uh, Ryan's going to come pick me up in the morning with his big flatbed trailer. We're going to put all this stuff on it and take it up to Amory and help the fire department up there. From last you know, week's tornado. Clear debris and clear trees and whatever we can whatever we can do to help but you know that's that's the game plan instead of working on the chicken coop for tomorrow morning do i think we made a mistake moving to mississippi no absolutely not i mean guys crazy weather events happen no matter where you live that's true folks that are just accustomed to tornadoes and terrified of tornadoes what did i say Accustomed to tornadoes and terrified of I did, tornadoes. Didn't I? I'm not sure what you're trying to say. <laughs> Folks that are accustomed to earthquakes, oh yeah, but terrified of tornadoes, think that we lost our minds coming here. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Last week we we had that that big one that literally went right over us and it did. skipped over us, and I was fairly panicked. But I get the same way during a bad earthquake. <laughs> Ron Hall was so, pointing at his screen. He was pointing at our house. Yeah, and he said that looks really bad that yeah. tornado is trying to recycle it's going to touch down right there this is one of the worst tornadoes i've ever seen and it was on top of our house yeah so i mean that was definitely scary yeah there's crazy tornadoes here sometimes there's crazy earthquakes on the west coast and there's crazy hurricanes on the gulf coast you know we're not taking those types of weather events into consideration when we're deciding whether or not we're in the right place but what are the things that we did kind of take into consideration when we were looking at where to move? Because Mississippi was on neither of our radar. Of course you want to look at the areas that you're looking at. Like, for example, let's say you find a piece of property in middle Tennessee, okay? and Beautiful place. Yeah. And you're looking and you go, well, the crime rates in Tennessee are really high and the school rates maybe aren't as good. That's for the state. Right. You want to make sure that the areas that you're looking you're looking at the community that you're moving to. You're looking at the city, you're looking at the town because while the big city that is in that state, your big cities like Memphis and Nashville are affecting those numbers when it comes to crime, when it comes to all of those things. Right. So you want to look at the overall picture in just, yes, in the state and how far away you are from that big city, but you want to look at what are my numbers in the area where I like this piece of property. So basically, you know, here's how it went down. We originally were looking at Tennessee because Tennessee is where I'm from. Uh, it's where I grew up. It's where I thought I would wind up moving back to someday. She was excited about the idea of going to Tennessee. We knew Tennessee was in the United States of America as opposed <laughs> to California. That's where we started looking. And, you know, when you start looking for property in rural America, it's not easy to find. And we had... You know, we had a list of, you know, we wanted X number of acres. We wanted water. We wanted 
flat usable land at least a portion of it that we you know we had a plan for farming and and growing food and raising animals and being self-sustainable and we were not finding in our price range what we were looking for consistently enough we were we'd, we'd find something and then we'd look at it real close and you know it was in an area where the schools were bad or it was in an area that was too close to you know knoxville and the crime rate was super high right. so or it was really really far away from a school right like the drive to school was going to be like half the day you know? right so, right yeah there's definitely some of that that got uh you know eliminated some areas oh, storms are coming they in are storms coming. are coming they are coming but you can't beat this view i mean right? you can't beat it i mean and it's yeah it's that that's Welcome to Three Mississippi right yeah. there, y'all. We love it here. Yeah. To, to just put that question to rest now. I know, and I feel like we get that more than any other farmer, uh, homesteader that has yeah. picked up and moved. I don't know why we do. Maybe because we were like the only ones that I know of from California. Well, that I'm you know, super and aware of, what's but... funny is people who know me <clears throat> knew that I did not belong in California. They're like, man, why are you in California? You're not even from here. Why'd you stay? Well, you know, there's a long list of reasons why I stayed. I was, I, you know, I went out there in the military and got a great job out there, wound up staying, didn't think I'd stay that long, got in a band. The band started doing really well. Bad time to move when you got a great band that's, you know, that's touring and, and, do, and, and then met her. And just next thing you know, it, you know, it's 25 years later. That's how that happened. But, uh, but we did not, we, did not belong in California. Yeah. You know, Sid, even even Sid having grown up in California, had a very different mindset. She's conservative, uh, She, which, you know, California used to be. They had it Ronald was, Reagan back it, in the it day. It was a red state when I was yeah. a kid. I mean, it, in, and it was for a lot of, you know, except for really the last 10 years, I feel like has been the shift. Right. Um, things have really, it was basically right around the time we had Frankie, it was starting to get a little sketch. Right. Things were starting to get a little, a little weird. Yeah. And then even now there's the things, one of the reasons why it was like, pull the trigger. Now they were going to be implementing some things in the schools that I did not like. And I know people say homeschool, homeschool. I am not that mom. Yeah, I will, that's a whole I will, different subject. I will bake bread from scratch. I will do all that stuff, but I am not right. the mom that can homeschool. So I wanted to make sure that we were going to be in a place that had our values. It was still going to give her a good education. And we found that here. Right. So, I mean, so what we did is we, we finally decided, hey, we need to broaden our our search, right? We need to cast a wider net. And, you know, I, I, I told Sid, because she was, you know, she really did want to focus on an area. Oh, I hit her. Oh, she reappeared on the other side. She really did want to focus on an area and really hit that area hard and find the right place in that area. And I said, you know, the South is the South largely, right? East Tennessee, where I grew up. Uh, North Georgia, North Alabama, North Mississippi, you know, East Texas, Arkansas. There's just so there's so much opportunity out here, and and it, and so much similarity that I said I finally convinced her. Let's 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 cast that that wider net, and we did. And then we started finding properties, and we started finding exciting properties. Found amazing properties in Arkansas. Remember? We did. So saddens me some of the properties in Arkansas that. You know they're just too far out uh they're they're probably never gonna have internet we don't know you know when elon's really gonna be able to solve <laughs> for that as we found a property then we drilled in to that property and we looked at okay does it check all the boxes that we need it to check and then how many of the secondary it'd be nice boxes does it check and then start looking at okay what's the crime rate not in that state like she was saying but right there in that area yeah. you know uh the crime rate in jackson mississippi affects the crime rate for mississippi just right. like just like memphis affects tennessee you know what's the crime rate in the area in the community what's the unemployment rate what's the what school is frankie going to go to and then what high school after that and what are those schools ratings and that research ruled some places out that were beautiful properties yeah. but when we found the right property right the one that checked all the boxes um we knew we we knew that we found of all the places we looked all over the southeast we found the one that was right for us one of the things too that we had to be really mindful of was mike needed internet right away to be able to get back to work so right. there were a lot of places where we were like oh this would be great this would be great but there's no internet and then there's a waiting list and 
you know, all of that. So it makes it very difficult, you know, if you have certain parameters that you cannot budge on. Right. And so when we found this place and they had just had internet installed and fiber, it, yeah, fiber yeah. internet, it's better the internet than we had in California. Oh yeah. By a hundred percent. Yeah. It's way better internet. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it's kind of funny, you know, that was one of the things we were concerned about and I've got um, like 300 down and a hundred up or something crazy like yeah. that for no extra. Yeah. I think I had 50 down and, and 10 up and we were paying double. Oh, triple. Triple to have that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Forget about the cost of living and that things, you know, things tend to be a little bit cheaper out here and people are a little bit more grounded out here. I mean, and that's all important too. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's, it's just a very different calmer way of life, I would say. And the people down here are amazing. We got very lucky uh, with this particular little spot in the universe. We had right. amazing neighbors. We fell into an amazing church and Great amazing family. community. Yeah. And I mean, most of the church is the same family. That's true. There's, there's a couple big... of big prominent families here and, and we just happened to, to, to meet them and get to know them and click with them. And we feel like we've, you know, some days, I feel like we we've only been here ten minutes, and I and there's just stuff that I haven't got done. I mean, you know, here I'll I'll show you the, the for those of y'all that haven't seen the channel, you should come back and see more. But this is the giant chicken coop that we're building <laughs> and the run around here. Um, but uh, but then other days, it feels like I've been here my whole life. Right. You know, uh, just because. because of the people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's and it's been such a blessing for that, but. Uh, you know, and, and not to say that we don't miss our friends and family that we have back in California. You're always going to miss friends. They're friends. Right. But, you know, there's, there's always, they're a plane ride away. Right. They're a couple day car drive if you want to go on a road trip or if they want right. to come out and visit. And if they're it's, real friends, you'll stay in touch. Right. You know? Right. And it's funny, some of my friends, I feel like I've actually had more communication with since I moved than when I lived in San Diego. Because now they're like, oh, you're not here. I'm, it's almost like I was always there before, but now that I'm far away, they want to talk more, which right. I love. I, it's, I'm cool with it. You make new friends and you get settled in a new area and while it's different, we could never do the things that we want to do here in California. We could never have done them on the scale that we want to do them, I should say. Right. At, and be or able some to of afford them at to all. do them. Yeah. At um, all. I mean, look, look, I mean, California is becoming a communist country of its own. Yeah. And it, it, I can't be a part of it. I can't pay taxes there. I can't contribute to, I just can't contribute to it. Yeah. And it's sad because it's, it's, you know, it's where I grew up and there's, a, I, there's a lot of things that I love about that state. It's beautiful. It's the people that have mucked yeah. it up. <laughs> and not all the people. There's so people. many great people there. That's yeah. Again, you come down to when you're the in voters. cluster cities yeah. like that. It's it just is what it is. And that's the yeah. case in a lot of places. But I will say this. We we definitely 100 percent made the right decision. That's not to say that the decision that we made to live this way is necessarily the right decision for you or right. anyone else. But Truth. if you are in a place where you are feeling, you know, maybe you're in the middle of a city somewhere and you don't like the way things are done and it's just not your jam and you wish you could be more out here like this, growing your own food, building your own stuff, look into it. See if it is something you can do because I think it is 100%, million percent worth it. Million percent. A million percent. Math Woo! is not my strong suit. A million um, <laughs> percent. Well, there's a lot more zeros in a million than That's, there are in a hundred. Yeah. Well, I, I just, I think that it's do your research. Yeah. Maybe go find some other people that are near you that live this way that you can maybe pick their brain a little bit before you make the big jump. Right. Um, because I know a lot of people have been contemplating it really since the last maybe five years or so but i know a lot of people basically since 2020 when all that went down they were like let me get the heck out of dodge and everybody wanted to get out of the big cities everybody yeah. wanted to get out of california and there's been mass exoduses which i 100 percent understand and i feel um, like the big cities are the problem everywhere yeah you know i mean it does, you could be in the heart of the south you're not gonna like atlanta folks somebody that lives in atlanta is watching this right now gonna get mad at me but i'm sorry <laughs> or they're gonna agree i don't yeah. know uh, you're not going to like Dallas. You're not going to like Houston. You're not going to like Memphis, you know? I think the bottom line is too, and I think this was something that, you know, maybe holds a lot of people back is you start to think like, oh, we can't just pick up and move. Um, we can't, I can't do it. I can't afford to do it. I can't do it. I'm scared to do it. I can't leave people. 
you can, you just have to be smart about it and you have to think about it and you have to, you know, look you at what your budget is. You have to plan. It's tough. But it is something, you know, yeah. that you can do. And we sort of did it, I don't want to say on the spur of the moment, but it kind of was like a very like, oh, this is happening now. It, it wasn't happened like, within like six months. Yeah. yeah. So pretty quick from the moment we, a few things happened that caused us to say, wait yeah. a minute, time out. Things that were going to happen yeah. with Frankie starting school the next year. And I was like, you know what? I can't do this. Right. Um, and there was a bunch of other things too. Um, you know, our, the electric rates were going through the roof. Yeah. It was um, just, yeah. It was just a compound of things, you know, Google California and you'll see why, but, <laughs> but, right. but the long and the short of it is we do love it here. Everyone has been very welcoming, very hospitable, very loving, and we are very blessed to have landed here and we are excited to, and tornadoes are scary. Tornadoes are scary. In fact, the other night, uh, on our live Wednesday, y'all donated, and I'm gonna show you a little bit about what we're doing with that. Yep. Hey guys, Sid here from Three Mississippi. As you can see, it is a beautiful day here, but we are in between storm watches. Uh, if you remember last Friday, uh, Mississippi got hammered pretty hard with a tornado. We were fortunate enough that it did not touch down here, um, but a neighboring town was hit very hard and Amory is very close by. It could have just as easily have been us. And we were talking about that with you guys this week on the live and it happened to be Mike's birthday. So people were doing super chats to, to give to Mike to wish him happy birthday. And he decided that he wanted to pay that forward. And so one of the things that they really needed was hygiene kits. And I know how to put those together. For those of you that have been following the channel for a while know that um, for a few years we have done hygiene kits for vets, uh, homeless vets and vets that are just kind of down on their luck. Um, and so I'm like, we're going to do hygiene kits for these guys. So I went to the Dollar Tree today. We had about $650 of donations from Super Chats from you guys on Wednesday night. I just went and spent that at the Dollar Tree and at Walmart getting the totes and all of the deodorants and toothbrushes and, and toothpaste and soap and all the stuff that people don't have right now that they need. And I'm going to be packing those up. Uh, tonight to uh, go out with them on Saturday uh, our church and Mike and Frankie are going to go help with the cleanup effort and distribute those kits I won't be able to go with them on Saturday I have to stay here they are gonna go and do that but I will be packing all those kits so I as you can see we got a bunch of stuff um, it got a lot of bang for our buck at that Dollar Tree for those hygiene kits it used to be more when it wasn't a dollar 25 tree I could definitely see the difference now since it's gone up but Man, I just want to say thank you guys so much from the bottom of our hearts. We appreciate your willingness to help and your uh, ability to just give and that you trust us to take care of this and get it in the hands of the people that need it. Because I know sometimes, you know, it's hard to know when you're donating to somebody or to a cause. It's, it's hard to know. And... I promise you every bit of that. Um, I, I took picture of the receipt, the big receipt, the Walmart receipt was little because all I did there was buy the totes to put the stuff in. Um, but those totes aren't cheap, man. They were like 126 bucks, but people needed totes. So we we got a bunch of totes. So I just, I want to thank you guys so much. Um, just as, as a new Mississippian, this place has, it has a special place in my heart already. If it's felt like home since the minute I got here, but even more so after, just seeing how people band together and um, it's a special place. I just want to thank you guys for helping our neighbors and we appreciate that. We're gonna put all of that to good use and let the Lord use us to help those people. So a lot of people were saying you know come down and film you know you guys bringing the tractor down and doing all that and you know what I really don't want to do that. I feel like people have seen enough pictures of the devastation and the people's just the destruction and I don't feel like we need to glorify any of that um, in a video but I the only reason I'm talking about this now is because you guys donated and I wanted to show you guys that this went for those things uh, to help those people but I'm not doing it to make it look like we're 
special for doing it or anything like that. We wouldn't have probably even said anything about it other than maybe on a sipping and spilling that that's what we did on Saturday um, or that's what I did on Friday night or something like that. But I just I just want you guys to know that it means a lot that you guys were just willing to to just jump in and help like that and we appreciate you a special shout out to 4w farms mississippi he had just recently lost his father and he contributed they're down there in raymond um they're a new channel go check them out go show them some love that that meant a lot that they contributed there's a lot of you that contributed and uh, i'm going to be putting a list of all the names of the individuals and the people i know that's not why you did it I get that just like when I donate to something I always put you know keep it hidden I don't need people seeing that I helped out that's not you know but I want you guys I'm not giving you guys the option I'm just gonna give you that little bit of recognition because you didn't have to do it and it was awesome of you to do it you know if it's somebody with a channel I'm gonna link their their channels down below that contributed um, so you can go just thank them and and show them some love because um, this is shaping up to be a bad season. I know we're on watch again tomorrow night for another bad storm, which you'd never think. It's it's like 80 degrees right now and gorgeous out. We have to take care of each other when these things happen. Say a prayer for those that are affected by the tornadoes this last week and say a prayer that everybody stays safe during this next round. I pray that nobody is hurt and I pray that, I pray that the weatherman was wrong, but it's probably not gonna be the case. So let's just pray for everybody's safety and preparedness through this storm and um, just know that the Lord is going to provide for us to be the hands and feet to go help them this weekend and to get those kits distributed. So it's late guys. It's like 10 30. That's late for me. <laughs> I finished editing the video that I was working on that has to post tomorrow. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys the totes. Um, there's more totes piled up over there, but these are the totes that are full of the hygiene kits. I wanted to show you these. These totes are all full. I made a hundred hygiene kits and then I've got more totes for people because as they're sorting through things, they were asking for totes. So once, the, as they're handing these bags out, then these totes become available and then I have more totes over there. So here's, I'll just grab one out of here. So here's one, it's got wipes, it's got some sanitary napkins, soap, toothpaste, deodorant. Uh, there's a toothbrush hiding in there, a razor in there too. So a good little little hygiene kit to get people through and there's, there's a bunch in here. So hopefully this will really go to help some people in Amory. Again, thank you guys so much for your contributions. Well, that's it, guys. We are home. We are happy. Home sweet home here in Mississippi. Three Mississippi. We're not going anywhere. We did not make a mistake. We did not make a mistake. We are happy here. And we wouldn't trade this for anything. I wouldn't trade coffee on my front porch every morning with my cat, with Mr. Bunk, or anything. So we are happy to have you guys along with us on our journey. And we will see you next time. Bye. Have a blessed day.